Hey crafty friends, it's Jeannie and today I'm sharing a card I created using the Waffle Flower Sneak Peek Club Kit. This kit is a monthly subscription service that allows you to play with items from the upcoming Waffle Flower release. For example, if you already subscribed, this club kit would have shipped to you at the beginning of February, which is about a month out from the March 5th release date. If you are subscribed today, then you'll be receiving a sneak peek for the April release, which will ship at the beginning of March. It's a pretty cool concept and I don't think any other crafty company has done this. I really like it because it doesn't have limited edition items. These items that are found in the kit will be available for sale on Waffle Flower's site and it also gives you an idea into the theme of their release for the month. There's no limited edition items, which I personally prefer because I hate using limited edition items that I share and then people ask what it is, where they can get it, and then they can't get it. That is a definite plus for me. I also found that everything in this kit works perfectly to create cards without needing anything else. And that's also important to me because I don't like getting only certain items and then I still have to pull from my crafty supplies. Other than like paper and the essentials, you will have everything that you need to create. Let's take a look at what's included in this kit. It does come in this pouch with a zipper and it has the kit information right in front, which is super helpful, especially if you're gonna be collecting these, it'll keep you very organized. In the kit itself, you will get first uh, sentiment stickers in black and white, which makes it really easy to add to cards quickly. I like that. There's no stamps in this particular kit, so those sentiment stickers are going to make it so easy just to add to your finished cards. Next, you get an oversized friend print die, which includes the word and the shadow. I love these where it's a bold sentiment that can take the focal point of your card, and then also you can use those sentiment stickers to add to supplement it. Next, this is the best friend die, which cuts out the silhouettes of all types of dogs. So this is going to be so fun to cut out of black cardstock, add it to your cards, or just, you know, there's just so many possibilities with silhouette. Next, the paw print stencil dual, which is a layering stencil. It has two layers. It will be perfect for like a quick tone on tone background or a colorful one. It'll just be really fun to create a pattern with that, especially if you're a dog lover. And then next you have foam strips, and these look to be about one eighth in size. And this is also, I wanted to say that Waffle Flower is doing a giveaway of the next kit on my blog, so be sure to stop by and leave a comment for a chance to win. I'll have all the details for that on my blog, which I'll have linked in my description box below. Now for the card. Everything that I used can be found in the sneak peek kit, but remember that these items are part of the new release, so this kit isn't available anymore, but if you're interested, you can definitely shop the new release on March 5th on Waffle Flower's site. And if you sign up now for the kit, you'll be getting the next kit which will be a sneak peek into the April release which will ship at the beginning of March. I ended up creating two cards because I think this kit has the potential to create so many cards at once. I went ahead and I cut the best friend die out of black cardstock. I actually even went in and did it a second time. First I wanted to see what all the silhouettes looked like because sometimes with dies you can't tell until you actually just go ahead and die cut it out but once I did I was like oh this is gonna be super cute. I'm gonna die cut more and then use them. But I wanted to use an example that was different from the example that they had shown on the cover of the kit. There's a little paper insert and they used it with the silhouettes covering the entire panel, creating a background pattern and then the focus around the friend, which is essentially the same as my card, but I'm going to take it a different way because I want to do focused ink blending, which I did on my first panel. For my first panel, I masked off the top and bottom and I'll be ink blending in that middle area. I use a saltwater taffy, picked raspberry and peacock feathers. I thought it kind of gave like a sunset look, which is really pretty. I also also enjoyed that the peacock feather and the picked raspberry kind of form this purple and saltwater taffy and picked raspberry just like blend into each other. So I usually go over my ink blending twice just to really saturate the paper to get a good blend. But most of the times when you're blending, unless your focus is mainly the ink blending, no one's really going to notice if your ink blending isn't smooth. Like for my second panel, I am ink blending on the entire panel and it looks blotchy. Like yeah, it just really does. And I didn't put that much effort into 
blending it smoothly, mainly because I knew that I would be stenciling on top of it as well. And because I was doing a tone on tone blend, I really didn't want to saturate the paper that much because then my pattern won't be able to show up because my paper would be completely saturated. It's really hard to darken it up using the same colors if the paper was just completely soaked with this ink. So I was okay with the blotchiness and like I said, once you put a pattern over blotchiness, you won't even notice. So that's what I'm doing. I pulled out the paw print stencil jewel. There's two layers to this. One is the base, which is the paw prints itself. The second is kind of a shadow look on it. So once you add it, it adds the shadow to the paw prints. So it looks a little bit more dimensional. For my first layer, I just go in a little heavy handed, really trying to get those paw prints down. And then for my second layer, I am going even heavier handed in with the color really focusing in on every single piece and I think I had really saturated with pink raspberry because the shadow didn't really show up like I can see it but it's not super strong but even then it's okay because I will be putting images and the die cut right over it so once i'm done i'll remove the mask of my first panel and we'll be ready to assemble my card so i went and die cut the oversized friends die out of black cardstock for both cards and this die actually comes with the words and the shadow piece which i used vellum for i originally had cut out vellum for both of the cards and then i decided to switch one of the shadows to white just because I wanted a little bit different and then I also wanted to use both colors of the sentiments in the kit. So in the kit, there's the sentiments for black and white. I wanted to use both just so I could show you the uses of everything that's within this kit. And I thought that with the white shadow, it would look good with the white sentiment. And then with the vellum, I would use the black sentiment because I wanted to keep everything consistent. And honestly, for my first panel, I really didn't really need the vellum I thought that it just looked pretty it's hard to see on camera but in person you can tell that there is vellum there for the white sentiment strips you actually have to cut these out yourself but for the black ones they're kind of perforated so you can just pop them out carefully and then you can just glue it onto your card so I th originally thought these were stickers they're not stickers you just add adhesive and what I ended up doing was adding the foam tape that comes in the kit originally when I looked at the foam tape I thought that they were just like one eighth strips, which are pretty thin. It actually has one sixth inch strips as well. So they have a combination of both, which I totally appreciated because I wasn't going to use this, the one eighth strips, but the one six ones were perfect for the sentiments. And that's what I popped up on foam for both of the cards. And then I'll just go ahead and glue down all the silhouettes that I have for my first card, which is the ink blended panel. Um, I just used one silhouette doggy and it says happy bark days. I love a punny card. And then for my second one, I picked four little animals and I kind of like tried to fit them as much as possible. I didn't want to overcrowd the space because there isn't that much space there, but I thought it really turned out cute and I have the sentiment right in the middle as well. So one is a birthday card and one is a, like a general high friend card. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you stop by the blog, please leave a comment for a chance to win this particular kit. And if you're interested in the subscription as a whole, please stop by Waffle Flower site and sign up and then you'll be getting the next month's sneak peek kit. All right, well, thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!